this was our big question, right? When the war started, if it's if it's a good time, or maybe it's better they take a hiatus from 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 dating. What did ladies say, babe? Uh, yeah, from 80 to 90 percent, ladies are open for dating. It depends where a lady live right now, and uh, as we can see, that 50 percent of our database they moved out from Ukraine. They in safe area and they much more open here. I mean, they yeah, psychologically yeah, in many different ways. So about half of our ladies are out safely out of Ukraine. About half still in Ukraine, and the half that have moved out have moved to Poland. The other ladies are sprinkled around uh, mostly Eastern Europe. What what is the general consensus? What are ladies saying when we ask them, "Are you open to dating in Ukraine?" They not kind of desperate, you know. Uh, to start a relationship from, I don't know, victim position, immediately start a relationship with some, someone, anyone, you know, not like that. Uh, we see that uh, the um, rejection rate doesn't change, you know, it does, war doesn't affect it. Every, all the key, again, in the man they introduced to, right? So, if they like men, they want to be introduced to, they express their mutual interest if they don't see potentially herself is this man that we introduced by Foros and his letter uh, she refused yeah to meet him so yeah uh, but uh, many of them like now because of situation uh, they have much more time you know they don't have their normal duties normal work you know although you know they're looking for you know different options now to settle their life right but still, they kind of more free. <laughs> like one of the lady I talked to, she said, "Oh, we live in Spain, and uh, you know, like um, Red Cross, they care about us, and we just feel like we in vacation and something wrong. You know, we don't have to work. We uh, they feed us. We live in a, in a flat that Red Cross volunteers provide, and." Uh, like she said, we want already to work or do something because we, we feel it's something, you know, something wrong, you know, bored. with this. Yeah, getting bored, yeah. So in this condition, of course, lady has a lot of time and, uh, you know, if she meets a good man, she will have a lot of time to communicate to you, you know, and uh, know you better. Yeah, when you think about it, guys, I mean, they have no job, they have no family life, they, they, they have no home, you know, they have no community, no nationality, they have nothing, baby. Everything has been stripped from them. All they have is this hope of building their future. And now these are the ladies that when they onboarded with us, remember they have already decided, yes, if they meet their man, as they call it, you know, uh, they're willing to relocate to another country. So now that's all they have left is that hope. So now we're finding that they're more eager than normally at start meeting their man and starting their future.